after I wanted a video about how to fix this handle. This is a tilt handle, tilt adjust handle on a 2004 Chevy Venture. I'm sure it's the same for a lot of 2004 and onward for GM. But um, see it lifts and it, it doesn't tilt the seat. So, and the reason is there's a part in there that, that spins. So this takes a, a Torx 20 bit and uh, just unscrew the screw. Comes out. Handle comes off. See this piece in here? That that piece um, that piece spins. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna drill a hole here and put a pop rivet in there and then hammer it back on and screw it back on and it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna try to do is take this drill and I want to drill it high so I can get my pop rivet tool into the space I need to get it into. So I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to try to get it directly across from that, that pin. Okay. So I've got this drilled and ready to put the pop rivet in. Hopefully you just take your pop rivet and you put it in here in the hole, push it in, use your tool, push your pop rivet all the way in there, push it. Now this piece won't spin in the handle. So I'm now ready to install the piece back into the car. So what I gotta do is line up this pin with that slot, so that flips over, lift this up a little bit, put that in. Now because of that pop rivet, it's not going to go in, but it does if you gently persuade it with a few taps of a hammer. And it's on. Test it. Let's see if this works. go. And the seat now goes down and up. So I'm going to lubricate the mechanism in the chair and of course you got to put your screw back on. But uh, other than that, make sure the screw tightens, tightens it down, pulls it all the way in. And there is a way to fix a handle if you have a pop rivet and a pop rivet gun or handle those pop rivets they're very inexpensive and the tool is about fifteen dollars and uh, now that handle works <laughs>